The Dangerous 2-Bus and 2-Bus LT. Put the analog back in your music. What are they? The 2-Bus and 2-Bus LT are 16 by 2 summing mixers. In other words, they receive 16 analog outputs from any computer interface and combine them to stereo. Summing mixers versus line mixers. Where are the faders and pan pots? Every additional component in the signal path degrades your music. True summing bus devices differ from traditional line mixers. They do not have faders or pan pots. They simply sum your audio together. This preserves 100% of the recall and automation from your software. After all, if you have the functionality in your software mixer, don't compromise your music and repeat it in a hardware version by running through unnecessary electronics and losing your recall. Don't lose your recall. Just lose the track sheets. Why do I need that? Can't I just mix in the box? Of course you can, but there's a better way, and it might just take advantage of the gear you currently own. Have you ever been in the middle of a mix and had to select all the faders and pull them down every three hours to avoid overloading the master fader? Yep. Here's where the dangerous music summing mixers come in. Take the 16 outputs from your computer interface and connect them to the summing device. Then take the main outputs and bring them back into the computer interface, usually the last two channels. Send the monitor out to your favorite monitor management system, like the Monitor ST or D-Box. And if you need more summing inputs, simply add another 2-Bus or 2-Bus LT into the expansion input. Internal routing. Now here's an example of how to set up your recording assignments. Remember, you want to monitor through the summing mixer during both the tracking and mixing process. Output 1 equals kick. Output 2 equals snare. 3 and 4 toms. 5 and 6 overheads left and right. 7 bass, 8 lead vocal. You get the idea. Since things like the kick, snare, bass, and lead vocal are mono and should be panned up the middle, We've paired them together, and we'll engage the mono button to bring them to the center. Unless, of course, you're channeling the Beatles' White Album and want bass and vocal in opposite speakers. Do you, don't you want me to love you? So now, instead of jamming all this data down the master bus and monitoring through one pair of D to A's, remove the bottleneck and distribute the audio workload across 16 outputs, permitting increased track fader levels and eliminating the master fader. Let the analog electronics in the 2-Bus take the heat while reducing digital gain loss in the system. Here's an example. Say you have a 72-track session. 12 of those tracks are backup vocals. By assigning these to their own dedicated bus and D-to-A pair, you'll achieve a far meatier, fuller, punchier, three-dimensional mix. <laughs> How can the 2-Bus family perform like this without overloading? Let's go back to our Avid 192 example. The maximum level it can output is 22 dB. How to figure that out? Assuming it's still at its factory calibration of minus 18 dB full scale, the distance from there to 0 dB full scale is 18. And since minus 18 dB full scale represents plus 4 dBU, we add 4 to 18 and come up with 22. Well, the 2-Bus LT and the D-Box can handle plus 27 dBU per input before overload, and the 2-Bus can handle an extra dB beyond that. What's the difference between the 2-Bus LT and the 2-Bus? Well, since we brought it up, let's take a peek. For the record, these two boxes sound identical. The LT is simply more cost-effective because it uses DB25 connectors, a switching versus linear power supply, a Born's pot instead of a stepped attenuator, and the plus six boost circuitry has been removed. So what do they sound like? Clients repeatedly use adjectives like transparent, analog, 3D, punch, restored dynamics, tight bottom. See, a summing mixer needs to be transparent. Why? Because specific color is not right for every song. I think we should paint in cerulean. Would you only want one compressor? One mic preamp? One mic? No. We need different tools for different jobs, 
and the 2Bus family allows painting with any shade during tracking and mixing. Want some iron in your life? Just bring in a line level preamp, EQ, or comp of your choice. Now you get to use it during tracking and mixing without the extra A to D and D to A conversion process with zero latency hangover. How is it so transparent? Topology. Mastering grade components are hand selected and DC coupled, eliminating transformers and filter caps. The company's chief designer is Chris Muth, a legend in the mastering community. Having been a cornerstone of Sterling Sound, MasterDisc, Absolute Audio, and the Hit Factory. Now these secrets are available in their modern day versions to the common man. Every dangerous music product is built to mastering specs and the top mastering engineers own them. Now it's your turn. Come on over and put the analog back in your music.